podcast, and I assume you hear it a lot, Travis. You and Taylor's relationship is great for the sport. Like, it is getting introduced to so many people, and you are and have that. been the perfect representation for our sport, too, I think, personally, genuinely. I think that. I think there's no other human that could do what you're doing right now and how you're doing it is awesome. And I, uh, you need to know that all of us are incredibly fucking proud of the way you're <laughs> representing all of us, dude. Let's I just keep it ridiculous. Trav, we also saw you at the Guardians-Yankees game. Uh, while you were in New York, you also caught Guardians-Yankees ALCS game. Yeah, game one, baby. Playoff baseball. What is it about playoff baseball that's so electric? Gosh, I think it's just the uh, the intensity. You know, you play all those, what is it, 182 games, you know, for these moments, and then every single pitch matters. Every single pitch matters. A few got away from our uh, our first reliever there, um, unfortunately, and uh, and sure enough, we just weren't able to to bounce back from the Yankees' power, man. It's yeah. I'll tell you what, man, when Stanton and Soto, when they get a hold of one, man, oh, shit. That ball flies off the bat, man. It yeah. is impressive. It is impressive shit. My guy, uh, Judge is, uh, he's right there on having a huge game. And I mean, the whole time I'm just, I'm screaming. I'm, I'm, I'm in hostile territory because it's the Bronx Bombers and I'm, I'm at the Yankee Stadium in the playoffs and yeah. I'm over here cheering for the guards because I'm a Cleveland kid and I want to see Cleveland win a fucking World Series. And yeah, it was mixed feelings because I was there trying to have some fun with Tay and everybody, uh, all, all our friends. Eli and Chelsea came, uh, Lefko and Enum came. Oh, nice. We had an unbelievable crew. Uh, with us and hanging with us and um you know it was uh it was fun it was fun even though the guards couldn't pull it off um it was still an exciting exciting game and it was cool to see yankee stadium because i've always wanted to see that thing in person in a playoff game in a hostile environment and it didn't disappoint man the yankees uh the the fans the players everybody involved man it was awesome i'm having a huge game and i mean the whole time i'm just i'm screaming i'm i'm, I'm in hostile territory because it's the bronx bombers and i'm, I'm at the yankee stadium in the playoffs and yeah. i'm over here cheering for the guards because i'm a cleveland kid and i want to see cleveland win a fucking world series and yeah it was mixed feelings because i was there trying to have some fun with tay and everybody uh all, all our friends eli and chelsea came uh lefko and enum came oh nice we had an unbelievable crew uh with us and hanging with us and oh Congratulations, dude. Thank Hell you. I, I, you I, mean, I don't know how often, you know, people just celebrate right in your face on your show. I apologize. For doing <laughs> but uh, that's on me completely. That's awesome, nah, though, dude. I, I think about some of the shit you're doing right now and like the pictures, you know, my wife, massive fan of uh -huh. your lady. So I, I get I get updates on all this shit. <laughs> you're just having dinner with Wolverine and Deadpool. And then you're out. <laughs> you know, it, it's like, do you ever get do you ever you, like at this point? You still understand, right? You still at this point. At this point, it's just it. You can't fathom what's going on, so it's just like a dream. You're just like, oh yeah, no, you're not surprised by like the next thing that comes in or comes uh, yeah, into life or the next Gilmore. person oh, okay. that walks into the door. Yeah, it's crazy. It's insane. I don't even. I don't know how You've the fuck it, I got brother. to live this uh, silly ass fucking life, man. But I am. Uh, I'm definitely fortunate for it for sure. You've earned it. You've earned it. Never forget it. That's awesome, dude. We're gonna wrap up this segment with uh, we gotta ask you. Don't eat. It look like maybe you guys are out in New York City. You and Tay. That's what we do. We like to go out and, and eat. Yes. Yeah. I mean, who does it? Why wouldn't you? What in the world was the shirt though? We got to show this. I don't. I have no idea. I think it's just art. I think it's just people. And then there's a horse. I don't know what's underneath that horse. I'm not sure. I didn't. I didn't really look at this shirt like that when I got it. I just like the color and the patterns and stuff. It looks like a hand. Yeah, you looks can't like really a see finger. it. I mean, it's like a pointing finger like that. It's kind of cropped, funny, but that. I mean, on this picture, it kind of appears like it's a horse cock. <laughs> That'd be crazy if I was wearing a horse. Wearing a horse cock shirt. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you always gotta you always gotta really you know you gotta make sure you know what you're wearing, kids. Or you're just everybody can just assume now. Oh gosh. Well, we do know what you're wearing because British GQ did a whole breakdown on the shirt. Oh nice. Thanks, yeah. British GQ. Yes, yeah, so in what New York say? City, the American football player wore a navy bowling shirt with a camp collar design and a boxy fit, released as part of Jacquemeu's uh latest uh La Sasa, La Casa line. Um, it's a signature move from the French label, uh, flowy, fun, and more vibrant Marseille than uh, minimalist Paris. It's a fancy way of saying it's a button down with horses and people fucking on it. People fucking? I mean, that's what that. you got out of that? Look at these two people right here. You're ridiculous. Jason. That woman is riding that man. They're, they're She's standing next him. to each other. No, they're not. No, no, no. Not that one. The one right below it. You can't even see that guy's legs. They're still st they're sitting next to each other. No, no, no. He's underneath. You're His making an assumption. Underneath. There's nothing saying that, that they're having sex. Well, what are her tits out for if they're not having sex, Travis? She could just be wearing a very tight shirt that shows her, her tits. She's got a BBL on the backside of that. I mean, what's happening on this shirt? No, those hams are, those hamstrings you're are right. The very, hamstrings match it. You're right. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> you're, you're ridiculous. The fact that that got you fired up is ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous.